Welcome back everyone, my name is Erko. In today's video, I get to share with you one of the greatest seeds I have ever been sent for Minecraft Console Edition Saturday Seed Showcase. In today's seed, we have a mansion, a guardian temple, an above ground end portal, all at spawn within around about 100 blocks. This is absolutely phenomenal, never seen anything like this, and without you guys supporting this series, it definitely wouldn't be possible. Now, if you're new to this series, all the seeds that I review work for every single version of Minecraft Console Edition because we start with a classic world. Now, if you guys have any more seeds that you think I should check out, awesome seeds, unique, anything at all, leave them down below in the comment section. Tell me the seed, tell me your world options, and tell me what is in the seed. So today's seed, full credit goes to Timo Wells, who commented this saying, Surfaced end portal, near spawn, seed is 701-408-423, Biome set to small, world size classic, please credit. Full credit to him. Thank you so much for sharing this. So going into play, I've named it as Seed Saturday Wow because of course it is a wow seed. As you can see there, seed is 701-408-423. Now, world options, I have this as, I don't know why it's set to large. Okay, I know what I've done there. So what I've done is I've set this to classic and then made it bigger later on. So I do apologize with that. I wasn't meant to do that. But it was a classic world, I promise you, I started with classic. Make sure it's classic. And if you're on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, or the Switch, you can always extend it at a later date. Just start with a classic world, which is exactly what I did, but I apologize. So loading up this seed, let's see what we have at spawn. So for this world, you spawn around about 20 to 30 blocks away from a mansion, which is already incredibly rare to happen in any Minecraft version. But with that being said, not only do we have a mansion at spawn, we also have a guardian temple right at spawn, and that is one of two in the classic area. But even more, guys, we have the open above ground end portal structure. Now, the only downside to this is it doesn't feature like the sh full stronghold, because of course, normally this is located in the middle underground. I'm not gonna complain, because this is absolutely fantastic. Now, if you guys do explore the seed for yourself and you do find anything underneath here, such as like the stronghold itself, let me know the coordinates in the comment section, but this is so unique. I've only ever seen this happen once before, and this happened in a survival island seed that I reviewed a very long time ago. This is working in the most recent update being title update 56 slash 57, I'm calling it, uh, but it's, it's like, it's awesome. Now, Granted, it doesn't come with any of the ID Enders. Sometimes the portals will. Sometimes they will come with three, four, five. I've seen six before, but this one comes with none at all. Now, this shouldn't spawn any mobs like creeper skeleton zombies. The only mobs that should spawn are, are these. These being the silverfish. They're annoying, but I'm pretty sure you guys can deal with them. So like I explained, I did do a little bit of digging. I didn't find anything in regards to the the structure being around here. I think it's just a really bugged out world that worked out to be very beneficial. And of course, don't forget we have the Guardian Temple as well, right at spawn. All of this is at spawn. I'm gonna say within 100 to 200 blocks. That is absolutely incredible. So the rest of this world, it does have like villages. It has desert temples. It has good biomes. It's just, it's just such a unique seed. So what I'll do is I'll start off by going over here I don't want to go too far because, of course, not all of this is classed as a classic world. Only some of them are, and you probably see the walls. So, up to this point is everything you're going to see. All this is for Xbox One players, PS4 players, Switch players. And you can see there, we do have ourselves a Mega Tiger biome. So, if you're on Xbox One or Switch and stuff, then it's definitely worth checking out. That's also not on the map as well, so I'm not going to go too far. Because, again, I'm trying to keep this as a classic size. I have no idea why I extended it. I just did. So, going further down here... Let's go and find ourselves the next structure. So because this seed is that awesome, you could also class this area right at the bottom, bottom left of the map as a survival island area. Granted, it doesn't have a tree, but you could go and grab a tree from elsewhere and you could call this a survival island. That is not in the world again. Uh, but this also has another temple right here. This is in the classic world. This is another guardian one. Fantastic, two of them. Pretty obvious because we do have a large quantity of ocean biome in this seed. It is dominated mainly by ocean biome, but it also has a huge desert as well, which features a village and some desert temples. I was hoping to find a jungle. I didn't I didn't notice any jungles because the biome scale on this is really small. I was hoping it would have a more variety of biomes. That really wasn't the case. 
It does come with a savannah biome, which is the acacia trees, and this is the desert. Remember, guys, if you do find anything else in this seed that I'm not showing today, leave a comment down below with the coordinates. So this does have a village, which is good because you, oh, of course, you want to, you're gonna want to do some trading, like cartographer. Don't need you because I know where the, the mansion is and I know where the guardian temple is. So he's a waste. What about you? A librarian. Oh, okay then. So there's a librarian here that offers mending. <laughs> Take advantage, guys. Lock them up. So we'll start off with what's inside of here. However, these being blacksmiths haven't produced that much great... Oh, okay, I'm lying to you. Normally, they don't produce good loot for me, but two diamonds, three iron pickaxes, bread, and a chest plate. Bonus! Jackpot! So we do have two desert temples. These normally do produce some pretty good things. Enchanted books, golden apples, and much more. This one features... There we go. Golden apple and horse armor. Emeralds, perfect for trading, and some gold. More golden apples and some gold. And last but not least, we have ourselves a god apple. Wow. This is perfect. Two golden apples and a god apple in one temple. This seed just gets better and better. Okay, so going over to this area, we do have ourselves one more to explore. I really don't know what's inside of this one. I, I like to save this for you guys because it's more of a natural reaction on what we do get. So inside, oh, that's not what I want to do. Inside of here, we have emeralds and some gold, plus some poop stuff, another golden apple, and some horse armor, an iron ingot, not the greatest, and last but not least, an iron ingot. Okay, so, meh, wasn't the greatest. So the actual, this temple was not as good as the blacksmith village, which doesn't really happen that often. So I'll do a little bit more world touring just to show you guys. I don't want to go past the barrier though, forget that stuff, you wouldn't see that. However, this is a, this is a woodland area, so this might... Might expose another mansion. I'll do this very quickly for the Xbox One players. Mm, no, we're not lucky enough. I did notice a structure down here though, which is of course a ravine. And this world does have a ravine and there was something else I wanted to show you in the seed, which is further up at the top of the map. Ah, so this is what I wanted to show you. So it does have a Mesa biome. It's a poor excuse for a Mesa biome, but it is a Mesa biome nonetheless. Of course, that being the extended world, you only get this, this, that, and this as your maze biome in a classic world. And looking at this right, I've just noticed on the actual edge of the world, we do have ourselves a witch hut. I did not notice this earlier on. So that's pretty cool. I kind of like that. So there is a witch hut inside of here as well, right in the corner of the map. Um, you know what, guys? Even though this is only a small maze biome, if you do a little bit of digging and a bunch of exploring, you're still going to find caves that are going to expose a lot of di um, gold. Don't forget, with maze biomes, gold spawns above irregular levels. Normally gold is like level 40 and below. So I'll definitely take that into consideration. But as for the rest of the seed, very basic, nothing hugely or great to explore other than the basics at the start. It does have itself a ravine, which are fun to explore. I mean, very basic materials, but considering the temples offer what they do, you guys are going to probably more than likely go there. But yeah, perfect seed. I haven't seen anything better than this at a spawn point. So if you did enjoy today's video, be sure to hit that like button. Continue bringing me new seeds, guys, because without you, this wouldn't be possible. I'm Echo. Have a great weekend, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!